State and federal investigators have been called in to investigate a fire they believe was intentionally set at the First Pentecostal Church in Holly Springs, Mississippi. That church has been involved in some recent controversies as a result of the pandemic. Fox 13's Tom Dees is live in Holly Springs. Tom, you spoke to the pastor. Does he have any idea who would have done this? Darrell, he tells me no, he does not. He also tells me that he was in East Tennessee visiting family at the time, with his family at the time. And uh, they had to make a quick trip back here. As far as the headlines that the church has been involved in, we don't know at this point if that has anything to do with this apparent arson. It's just hard to wrap your head around the idea that someone may have orchestrated this or done this. It's Pastor Jerry Waldrop is trying to make sense of what happened to his Holly Springs church early Wednesday morning. It's not the first time the church has made headlines recently. It recently filed a federal lawsuit against Holly Springs after the city cited Waldrop for violating the stay at home order by having services in the church instead of a drive up service on a stormy Easter Sunday. The church claims the restrictions violates its First Amendment rights. To prove a point, Waldrop's congregation recently walked into Walmart on a Sunday to show that people are allowed to gather at the store, but not in church. Waldrop would not give permission to use YouTube video of the protest because he said it might dredge up too much negative attention. The pastor would not speak to either incident. He says he has no idea who would have possibly set his church on fire. Who knows? I mean, you know, the investigation's going on and we're just waiting to see what they tell us. Church members hugged and cried in the parking lot as investigators sifted through the rubble for clues to figure out who might have done this. We've kind of racked our brains and we have no idea. No, no enemies that we know of. Now, last month, a federal judge issued an order allowing the church to have the services in their parking lot. And I talked to the pastor about where they're going to have services now. He tells me that they're still trying to work that out. Reporting live in Holly Springs, Mississippi, I'm Tom Dees for Fox 13 News.